Hello biology class, welcome back to another new unit. Uh, this one is digestion. You should be doing this one following the nutrition test. Uh, obviously nutrition flows into digestion very well, so that is a natural progression for us. Uh, lesson one, as you can see by the title, is digestive processes. So there are four processes and they are actually listed in our key points above me, transportation, physical digestion, chemical digestion, and absorption. We are going to talk about those uh, in detail and then there is uh, some work for you to do to find out um, where these processes take place in particular. Uh, so let's jump right into it here. Digestive processes. There are four major processes that our bodies use in order to digest food. The first is transportation. Obviously, food needs to be moved through your body, from your mouth, to the back end, if you will. Um, physical or mechanical digestion, I generally just refer to it as physical digestion. Chemical digestion, uh, so physical digestion is the actual breakdown of food, like chewing. Chemical digestion would be the like acid in your stomach breaking uh, stuff down. And then absorption, you need to suck up the nutrients into your body, into your bloodstream so that you can uh, actually use it. So those are the four processes. The first, transportation. Let's think about this for a second. Um, is gravity responsible moving, uh, for moving food throughout our body? Uh, can we drink upside down? So gravity definitely plays a role. That's why our mouths are near the top of our body. Um, but you can drink upside down. If you're standing on your head, you can have a drink of water. Um, so why is that? And the reason that is, is because of peristalsis. So peristalsis is the process of food moving through the digestive tract by muscular contractions. So once the food goes into your esophagus, it start, your esophagus will contract and start to squeeze that food down. Uh, this is in the, in the esophagus and in the intestines as the food needs to move through. So the muscles squeeze to push it along. And we have rings uh, in our esophagus and our intestine, and that is why it is able to be pushed forward. So peristalsis is what's responsible for transportation. Uh, it looks something like this. So if you've got food from the mouth to the stomach, this is the esophagus, um, there is a contraction of the muscle at the back of the piece of food. Uh, what that does is it propels the food forward and pushes it down the esophagus towards the stomach. That continues over and over again uh, until the food is able to get down to the stomach to be uh, digested. So this is peristalsis. There are uh, three videos for you to check out that are pretty cool. Uh, they show digestion, they show peristalsis in many different forms. Um, so check those out uh, and come back after you're done. The next process is physical digestion. Uh, the breaking down of food into smaller pieces. So um, it's like cutting paper into pieces, like chewing, breaking your burger down. So the locations that this um, process is present in would be the mouth and would be the stomach. Uh, the stomach churns the food, mixes it up, and um, will like squish it and uh, mix it essentially. That's the stomach's job, is a holder and a mixer. It churns the food uh, and that is how it gets broken down there. So uh, a couple of locations for physical digestion. The obvious one is chewing, uh, but the next is in the stomach where it actually moves around and mixes. Some funny videos here, check them out and come back. Uh, they are at the, also at the bottom of your notes and the videos to watch. The next digestive process is chemical digestion. Uh, it's the breakdown of food by enzymes into simple components or into nutrients. So chemical digestion is the breaking down of food by acids and by different enzymes and we'll get into a bunch of those different enzymes as uh, we move forward throughout the digestion unit. When we talk about the stomach and the small intestine and the liver and the pancreas, we talk about a whole bunch of different things that can break and um, food down into its nutrients. So chemical change is the formation of a new substance with new characters. 
characteristics. So that's what happens when you break down food into its components or nutrients. You're changing the formation. So that's key point three. So the process, the places where this happens would be in the mouth, uh, amylase, which is an enzyme in saliva, starts to break down starch. So we should be familiar with starch and amylase we know as an enzyme because it ends in A-S-E. Uh, stomach, uh, the proteins start to break down into amino acids in your stomach because of the acid in your stomach. And the small intestines, many different enzymes break down nutrients. Again, we'll get into all the details there. The last digestive process is absorption. So it's the process of food moving from the digestive tract to the circulatory system um, or into the blood vessels so that it can be transported all throughout your body to the places where it needs it. So uh, some nutrients get absorbed in the stomach, uh, a lot in the small intestine, and then in the large intestine, water and vitamins and minerals get absorbed. Uh, so this is the last digestive process uh, and it is the sucking in of all the nutrients that you've broken down in your stomach and your small intestine. It mostly happens in the small intestine, but some in the large intestine. What I'd like you to do for your job uh, is I would like you to uh, describe the digestive processes that one happened in the mouth. We talked about a, different, uh, a couple different ones that happened in the mouth. A couple different ones that happen in the stomach, in the small intestine, and in the large intestine. So I want you to be able to separate those uh, and break them up. Uh, this should all be in your own words. It should have um, four small paragraphs, one for each location. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. And if you have questions, please let me know.